60 Minutes is reporting that the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency has given Lance Armstrong until February 6th to agree to testify under oath. If he declines, his lifetime ban from sports will be irreversible. Last week, in an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Armstrong admitted to doping. But the head of the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, Travis Tigart, told us that Armstrong didn't tell the whole truth in the interview. Tigart holds the keys to any reduction in Armstrong's lifetime ban, and in an interview for Sunday's 60 Minutes, we asked him about Armstrong's talk show confession. You know, at one point in the interview, he said that he was curious about the definition of the word cheater, and he looked it up in the dictionary, and didn't think it necessarily applied to him. It's amazing. I mean, Scott, you could go to almost any kindergarten in this country or frankly around the world and find kids playing tag or foursquare and ask them what cheating is and every one of them will tell you it's breaking the rules of the game no, no real athlete has to look up the definition of cheating and it's offensive to clean athletes who are out there working hard to play by the rules that apply to their sport he suggested that Cycling in those years was a level playing field because everyone did it. He wasn't doing anything special. It's, it's just simply not true. The access they had to inside information, to how the tests work, what tests went in place at what time, special access to the laboratory. He, he was on a, an entirely different playing field than all the other athletes, even if you assume all the other athletes had access to some doping products. Tiger told us that Armstrong will have to agree to tell all and testify against others if his ban is to be shortened. You can see the rest of Tiger's interview this Sunday on 60 Minutes.